and welcome to the Wyoming Knits podcast. Today is June 25th, 2023. I'm coming to you from Southwest Wyoming, where I live with my husband, our daughter, and our little Yorkie, Dax. This is my podcast where I like to talk about all things knitting. So if you are returning, thank you. And if you are a new viewer, thank you for stopping to check me out. Um, I live in Southwest Wyoming, where I am also a first grade teacher. Um, we are on summer break now. I've had about three, this is our third week of summer vacation. And so I've had lots of time to just sit and knit. So let's get into all of the things that I have finished so far. The first thing I want to talk about is some socks that I made. I am participating in summer sock camp this year. It's a knit along that Kay from the Crazy Sock Lady puts on every, every summer for the last, I think this is the fourth summer. So my first finished object is a pair of socks. I was working on these last time. So the Dyer is Sock Obsession Yarn, and this is in the Maritime Time color. I do have both socks finished. Um, I made these for one of my friends. I did 64 stitches on a 9-inch circular needle. I did a 2x2 two two cuff for 20 rows and then I did about 70 rows for the leg before I did the heel flap and gusset and then I did a rounded toe. So that was my first finished object. My second one um, is another pair of socks that I finished in just a few days. I did a pair of shorty socks for me. Um, this was just some leftover perfect pair by loops and threads that I picked up at Michael's a few years ago. I think they are actually discontinuing this yarn. Um, I haven't been able to find it online anywhere. And so um, I had some leftover. So I did a pair of shorty socks. I did run out. So I had to grab a different one that I had some. I did um, I cast on 56 stitches for me, and I did a 2x2 two two cuff for 12 rows, and then I did 8 for the leg to make this 20, and then I did the heel flap and gusset, and then a rounded toe. Um, I've made shorty socks for me before, a couple years ago over the summer, and I didn't really like the way they fit. At that time I did 64 stitches for me. They just felt a little loose around the ankle. And so I was like, I don't like shorties. I'm not gonna make them. But I decided to try again this year. So I grabbed this yarn and um, did 50, 56 stitches. And they do fit a lot better. Um, I actually think they're too short for me. So my next pair is going to be a little bit taller. I think I'll do like a 10 or 15 round row leg um, and see how those ones fit. So that was all the socks I've completed for Summer Sock Camp so far. Uh, my next finished object I've shown before. This is a tank top that I made for my daughter. I did get it finished. This is the Summer Court Tank by Tristan Molina of Dragon Horde Designs. So uh, I've blocked it, she's worn it, and then she threw it in the, the corner so it's a little bit wrinkled. Um, it calls for two balls of fingering weight yarn. And this is what I had left 
This is from the first ball, so I only used one. And I used Sinful Yarn in the color Maribel. This is a 8515 Super Wash Merino and Nylon. There was 437 yards per 100 grams. And this is all I have left. I did the first size. And so I only used one skein of yarn for that. Um, she likes it. I think she'll probably wear it a few more times this summer. Um, then the next thing I finished was my blanket my scrap witchery blanket. Um, I used row one minis and dove he um, knit picks dove heather held together. So I did um, five months of row one minis. So I started in January and there's 10, 10 colors per month. So January, February, March, April, and May in there. Um, this blanket is so squishy and so soft. Um, I'll put in some pictures over here of it all laid out so you could see the whole thing, but, um, I think I want to make another one. This was was easy to follow. And then um, as you're going along, you're like, oh, I just want to get to the next color. And then you start doing the next color and you're like, oh, I want to do a few more rows to see how it looks next to the last color. And then you're like, oh, I still, uh, there's a couple rows left. Let's just get to the next color. And so um, I think I did, let's see. on I did from here to here in about three days so it's just um, just an easy easy pattern to just pick up and just go um, this will be on my chair next to me so in the evenings when the air conditioner is on or in the winter, I can just throw it over my legs while I do, do some of my other projects. And yeah, I really, really loving this one. And that is all my finished objects. Um, the next thing we'll talk about is works in progress. The first thing I want to talk about is um, I talked about casting on another Autumn League pullover. I did do that a couple of days ago. Um, I've made this before. It is my most worn sweater. Um, I like to wear it all of the time in the winter. And so I thought um, I needed another one. So this is, this is where I am. I've got the body done and I'm on the first sleeve. You can see the, the cute little cross detail. Um, I did a tubular bind off, um, split hem, and then um, it has directions where you, you purl this and then you go back through and you mattress stitch so it just gives you a little extra um, structure in the body so this is what I've got so far I'm on the, the arm I do use the stitch markers to mark all of my decreases and then I um, I usually count how many decreases I have to do and I put that many on here so as I'm going when I get to the end I know I'm finished and my 
I do keep track of how many stitches I have on the arm every every few decreases just to make sure I didn't miss a decrease or that I'm still on the right track. I just have some little stitch stoppers to hold that on there. I'm using Knit Picks City Tweed DK in the color um, Morning Glory. I've used, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six fifty gram balls so far. So three hundred gram skeins so far. Um, this um, fits kind of like an oversized size sweatshirt. I am knitting the size small. I'm using a size seven. US 7 for the body and 6 for the ribbing. And that is living in one of my bags by Awesome Granny. And then I have another sweater. I've talked about this multiple times, so we'll just we'll just see the progress that I've made. This is the um, Big Cozy Cardi by Andrea Mowry. Oh, looks like I'm in the middle of a row. Last time I was where the, the little mushroom stitch marker is. And I worked on it for the weekend. And then the next time I got it out, I decided to put another one in there. I think that just gives me motivation to keep going. So it tells you how many inches tall to make it. I think I've still got, um, I'm a little over halfway done. So I've got a ways to go on this. So I'll put in a picture of what it's supposed to look like when it's finished. And this is the color that I'm doing for the collar. This is, um, Surrey Silk by Hugh Loco in the Elm color. And the main body I'm doing um, the Upcycle Alpaca from Knit Picks in the Sea Glass color. And I have this in, in a bag, um, Sassy Sacks by Yaddy. And so it's just a big drawstring bag that I set by my chair and work on it every every few days I'll pull it out and do some more work on it um, so those are the two sweaters I'm working on right now I have some more blankets that I'm working on and some socks so I'll show you the next blanket I've been working on I'm doing the jigsaw puzzle blanket by Stephen West um, I broke it down. There's 40, 47 sections. And if I do one section a week, um, I should have it done by the end of the year. So I have, I have a little, um, on Google keep on my phone. I have like a, a check mark system like some check boxes that I have section four due January, whatever through whatever. And so when I finish a section, I can just click it and it checks it off. And then I can count how many sections I have left and I can see if I'm still caught up or if I got behind and need to work on some more. Um, so I've been working on this. Um, let's see. I did, I think last time I showed this section, and then I did 
did this section of these. I um, I ran out of this color, so I just added in another one. And I think the next section I have, I start, here somewhere and connect a triangle up to here. So I will insert a picture of what it looks like. Um, the picture of his and then a picture of what I have done. And I'm just using just a whole bunch of random scraps held with a sparkle yarn. So each section has some kind of sparkle in it. I don't know if you can see the sparkle right there. But um, I do about one section a week. Sometimes I'll go two or three weeks and then do a few sections at a time um but that one's been pretty fun you just do the small sections at a time you pick up stitches from the side and connect things and so there's there's really no seaming but you are picking up and knitting different parts of the sections and then my last blanket that i've been working on is another one that's like the scrap witchery blanket but this one is the Bits and Bobs Blanket by Kay Jones. And so I think, let's see, last time I was right there where the little flip-flop is. And I've only, I've only put on a little bit more. So this is one that I pick up at night and knit on for a little while. And just keep going. I had a whole bunch of Lion Brand Mandala yarn that I had picked up from just like Walmart and Joann's. I was like, oh, that's pretty. I'll grab a skein or two of that. And then after I got it home, I was like, what, what am I going to make with this? So that's what I'm making. Just, um, so it's going to kind of look, kind of look scrappy and um, I think I'm going to give this to one of, one of the girls I know. And so that is all my big projects. And so we'll go into summer sock camp socks. Um, the first one that I'm working on is in a bag that I got from Happy Mermaid Yarn Co., a couple of summers ago they had a fun sock set that went with it with the red white and blue yarn and then I have another sock set from Happy Mermaid yarn in here this is the 80s movie sock set from Footloose I Need a Hero and I have a half finished object. Let's grab a blocker. I, th I think I've shown this one. I sh I, yeah, I showed this one last time. So I have this one finished and I'm still working on the, the second one. A little bit longer and then I'm at the heel. I do use nine inch circulars when I knit my socks. Um, so this is the Rhinebeck Rumi's pattern by Kay the Crazy Sock Lady. And I 
I work on this just whenever. And then my next sock I'm making for my mother-in-law out of some Felici yarn. I have the olive juice color. This was the fall of 2020 when I got this one. And then I do have some stroll, some green stroll I'm using for the heels, toes, and cuffs. So I've got the leg, putting the heel. I'm through the decreases on the gusset, and so now it's just straight knitting until it reaches her foot size. Um, I did order another set of this color um, just a couple of days ago. Um, they're on sale for like $3 a ball right now. But there's only a few colors left. They're getting ready to put out their um, summer collection. So this is Living in a Bag by um, Molly Klein Designs. It's my little Scooby-Doo bag. And then my next sock is in a Mountain State Stitches bag. This is from... Big Sky Yarn, and I'm doing the String of Lights pattern by um, Lindsay of Sock Witchery. And this color is Sugar Plum Fairy. So this is for one of my nieces. Um, I think I'm going to do 60 rounds for the leg and so I've got about 30 more rounds before I start the heel. Um, she was over a couple days ago and I told her pick out your color so this is what she picked. So. And then I have a pair that I'm doing for her sister. Um, I picked out this color. This is a Zen yarn. Um, I think it's called Dolce Vita. And I'm doing, doing the same pattern. And I think I really like this color. I didn't think I was going to like it when it was in the skein and and in the cake I was like hmm I think I really like it so that is all I've been working on for the last I think it's been two weeks um so that has kept me busy over the last few weeks of summer vacation. Um, I've got to just stay home and relax. It's been rainy and kind of cool. Uh, it's going to start warming up again. We, we're predicting 80 degree weather for the next week. Um, I think for the last two weeks it has rained almost every single day. Um, I do have one more acquisition that I made. Um, I just got this a couple of days ago. This is Sinful Yarn. I can't adult today. It's uh, 8515 Superwash Merino and Nylon, but I'm going to make some socks out of really like this color. Purples and greens. 
And so thanks for hanging out with me today and enjoy your crafting, enjoy your knitting time. And I will see you in the next one. Happy knitting.